Hello students, uh, I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for your exams. Uh, so today's video, uh, we will be doing this chapter, Linear Programming. Okay, so this is a very uh, easy chapter and a very scoring chapter. Uh, so you can expect one to two marks from this chapter. So today's video, I have divided into two parts. So first, uh, what I have planned is, we will quickly uh, do the concept revision of these uh, this chapter uh, uh, through standard problems. I have selected two standard problems. Through that, we'll be doing the concept revision. Once we are uh, familiar with the concepts, then we'll move to solving the KCLT PYQs. So they are very easy questions. Okay, you can easily score. Okay, so let's start uh, today's session. Okay, so what have we got? So let's solve the first question. What have we got? So here, uh, it says, solve the following linear programming problem graphically. Okay, so maximize z equal to 4x plus 5 and uh, subject to these constraints. Okay, so this z equal to 4x plus y is our objective function. This is called objective function. This is called objective function. And these three are called constraints. Okay, I'll be solving this question step by step okay. so that uh, you can understand. Okay. okay, so what we have got the first equation, what does it say? x plus y is less than or equal to 50. So this is an inequality. Let's uh, ignore the inequality for now and let's take it as equal to. So we need to plot this line on graph paper to plot an equation we need points okay we need at least two points to plot the graph right so we need to find any two points so let me draw a table okay so uh, any points you can pick zero is very easy okay if i select zero as my x point what will be my y point i'll put it in this equation and check zero plus y equal to 50 so this gives me y equal to 50. Now we will put y equal to 0 and I will find the value of x. x plus 0 equal to 50. So my x becomes 50, right? So I have got two points. What are they? 0 comma 50. This is my first point and my second point is 50 comma 0. Right? This is for my first equation. My first equation is done. Coming to the second equation. What have we got in the second equation? We have got 3x plus y. 3x plus y less than or equal to 90. For now, let's take it as only equal to 90. Uh, we need to find any two points. The same process will be repeated. Let's take x equal to 0. What happens to my y? If I substitute x equal to 0 plus y equal to 90. Sorry equal to uh, 90 so my y becomes 90 right now in my second uh, step uh, second i'll select a y value equal to 0 what happens to my x let's find that out 3x plus 0 equal to 90 my x becomes 30 right so what are the two points that i have got 0 comma 90 and uh, 30 comma 0 now all you have to do is plot these points. So we have got these four points. I just need to plot them. Okay, let me take a straight line. Okay, so I'll take uh, uh, the scale of ten units because uh, the points that we have got are multiples of ten, right? So on y-axis up till ninety, we need, right? So. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Similarly, on my x-axis, I need till around 50, right? I'll just plot. So here, I have to put an arrow mark, right? This is my origin. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. What is my first point? 0, 50. Let me mark that. 
and what is my second point it is 50 comma 0 okay i just need to join this two points okay this is my x plus y equal to 50 okay but i need to find this region right here there is an inequality it says less than 50 x plus y less than or equal to 50 i need to plot this right so it is saying less than so which region this one or this one i need to find that out so we'll pick any one point say for this region to check for this region i'll pick one point say i'll pick this 0 comma 0 point i'll substitute this in this equation and find out what happens so 0 plus 0 is less than 50 yes so 0 comma 0 satisfies that means every point in this region will satisfy okay you can check that out so my shaded region is this part okay this is not my sh uh, shaded region so this the points in this region will satisfy this inequality x plus y less than or equal to 50 coming to our second equality second inequality what we have got 3x plus y less than or equal to 90 same same thing we'll be doing first we'll plot the points plot this line on the graph what have uh, the two points that we have got are 0 comma 90 and 30 comma 0 so 0 comma 90 is here and 30 comma 0 is here right i need to just join these points okay now i have to find the shaded region right so again uh, let me pick 0 comma 0 what will happen so 0 comma 0 0 is satisfying this inequality that means this is the shaded region so what is the common region that is satisfied by both the constraints so this is my common region no? so this re this region is overlapping this region satisfies both the constraints so this region is called feasible region and one more thing what we have got here is a bounded one bounded region because this is bounded right and one more condition the, the third condition that says x greater than 0 so x greater than 0 so first forget the inequality what is x equal to 0 x equal to 0 is nothing but my y axis right this is my y axis now coming to the inequality the inequality says x greater than or equal to 0 take any point this is our line no i'll take 10 comma 0 substitute 10 comma 0 10 10 is greater than 0 so this point satisfies this inequality no so my region is this similarly for y greater than or equal to 0 we get this region so these all three constraints overlap here so this is our feasible region this is called feasible region and this is a bounded one bounded region important bounded region so this is our first step the first step is done second step is we need to find the corner points of this region what are the corner points these are the corner points no? 0 comma 0 30 comma 0 and uh, what we have got uh, 0 comma 50 and here one more point is there this is also corner point but we don't know what is this corner point how will we find that corner point yes because this point as you can see this is intersection of these two equations right so if if i solve these two equations i'll get this point i want a point that will satisfy both these equations both these uh, inequalities oh sorry equations no? i need to find that point let's find that point out okay so the equations that i have is i'll just find that point quickly 3x plus y equal to 90 and x plus y equal to 50. let me subtract the equations what i get 40 y y gets cancelled 2x x equal to 20 similarly if i substitute x value i'll get y value i'll get 30 so 20 comma 30 as you can see the intersection point you need to find this so this is how you can find by solving simultaneous equations you can find it okay okay so coming to the next part so now we have found out the corner points next step is for these corner point I need to find out what is the value of my z what is my z this is my objective function right what was it it is given in the question it is 4x plus y that is my objective function now the this objective function comes into picture 4x plus y so i just need to substitute these corner points say i substitute 0 comma 50 
say let's substitute 20 comma 30 what do i get so so for all the corner points i need to find that out so for 20 comma 30 what happens to my z let me check that out so 80 plus 30 20 right that is how i got so the question was asking us to maximize right so I need to find the corresponding value of Z for each of the corner points and check what is the value of my Z. So here you can see the maximum value is 120. It occurs at 30 comma 0. So the max value is max value for the objective function is 120 and it occurs at uh, 30 comma 0. This is how you solve this question. So this was an example for bounded. Okay, this was for bounded. This is one type of question. Now we'll be going to the second type of question that can come from this chapter. Okay, coming to our second question. Okay, sorry. So here the question is asking us, uh, determine graphically the minimum value of the objective function z equal to minus 50x plus 20y. And these are the uh, subject to these constraints. What will we do? The first step is to plot these uh, these inequalities on the graph paper and find out the feasible region okay first step is that i hope uh, you have understood that try it out okay if you try that out you'll get something like this the region is like this so one thing to observe here is this region is unbounded okay this blue region is unbounded okay remember this thing okay so the second step is the corner points. What are the corner points? 0, 5, 0, 3, 1, 0 and 6, 0. I need to find out the value of our objective function at these points, right? So I have already done that. So the value of our objective function at these points is so and so. At 0, 5 it is 100. At 0, 3 it is 60. At 1, 0 it is minus 50. At 6, 0 it is minus 300. And uh, okay, so uh, done with that, uh, the question was asking us to minimize, right? So minimize meaning uh, uh, the minimum value. So is minus 300 my uh, answer? No. Here, this is a case of unbounded region, right? Important. Here, you cannot directly... Uh, say that minus 300 is the minimum value we need to find that out okay so there is one more condition that we have to check so what is that condition let me discuss so for unbounded region you can note this down general thing for give if objective function is ax plus by and we get say value m as minimum value we need to check one more condition that it should hold this inequality as well that ax plus by there should be no common point for this region. There should be no common point for this. This inequality in this inequality, there should be no common point with our uh, this m point. Similarly, for uh, maximizing, we have to check. Say m is the maximum value. We have to check this condition: ax plus by greater than m greater than m this inequality should not have any common point with our m okay there should be no common point only then we can say m is the uh, so we can say it has got maximum maximum value of m or minimum value of m then there is no common point so we have to check that inequality so what is the inequality that we get for this case z equal to minus 50x plus 20y so in this case we have to check this inequality right so what what will be my equation 50x plus 20y less than minus 300 okay this is the case of uh, minimum right for minimum so we have to plot this inequality on the graph if i plot this i'll get it somewhere here okay you can try that out on plotting it is saying minus 50x plus 20y less than minus 300 so this is my region as you can see, there are many common points in this region. That means this has got no minimum value. 
because it has got common points. This has got no minimum value. This question has got no minimum value. Okay, we are done with that. That was the answer to that question. Now, what if the question says, what is the maximum value? Find the maximum value of the objective function. In that case, what we would do? First, uh, we would check. In this, the corner points, the maximum value is occurring at 0, 0,5. Okay, this is my maximum, maximum value. But for this, I have to check one more condition. What is that condition? This is my condition. If this satisfies this condition, only then I can say. So, uh, let me uh, check that condition as well. Okay. Minus 50x plus 20y greater than 100. So, you can plot this inequality. So, it will it will come here. Okay. This inequality will get somewhere here. Okay, and this region is here. If you find the region, it is here. So, as you can see, there is no common point with our feasible region. This is the only point. There is no common point. Because there is no common point, therefore, the maximum value is, is 100. So, this objective function has got a maximum value of 100 because there is no common point for this inequality okay so this is the this is the thing you need to remember okay so it is very easy these two equations you need to understand for minimum ax plus by less than m for maximum we have to check ax plus by greater than m here ax plus by is our objective function okay everyone it is our objective function you have to check that and find that out so those were the two standard problems. Coming to the second part of the video, uh, we will be solving the KCT PYQ uh, that were asked from this chapter. Okay, so let's start. So they are very easy questions. Okay, so let's start. So this is a good question. Okay, so what is the question? What does the question say? If an LPP admits optimal solution at two consecutive vertices of a feasible region, then the required optimal solution is at the midpoint of the line joining two points. So let's see. Say this is our feasible region. Say, say this is our feasible region. Okay. So at two consecutive points, uh, the objective function is optimal. Say let's take these two points. So what does the first option say? The required optimal solution is at the midpoint of the line joining two points. No. Is this our optimal solution? No. So first option is wrong. Let's check the second option. The op optimal solution occurs at every point on the line joining these points. Every point on this line. There are many points. Okay. Yes. Because see, let our objective function be ax plus by. At this point, at point A and point B, let at point A, there will be some value. If I, if I put point, substitute point A in this equation, say I'll get some value. Let it be uh, Z. Let it be, say, P. Okay. When I substitute the uh, values in point B, again I'll get P. Because it, it has got two points where, uh, where the, uh, our objective function is off optimum okay so that means if i take these two points and join this line i'll get a linear equation that linear equation every point on this line will satisfy this equation right every point on that line will satisfy this equation am i right so all these are my optimal points so every point on the line joining these two points is my optimal solution so it has got many optimal solutions, not just these two points, all the points on this line. So this is a very important question. Similar questions he has asked uh, in the coming years. Okay, so uh, coming to our next question, what have we got? Uh, for, for the LPP, maximize z equal to x plus 4y subject to constraints. So what are the constraints? So and so. Okay, so the constraints are x plus plus 2y less than or equal to 2 
and uh, x plus 2y greater than or equal to 8. So we need to find the points, right? So if I put x equal to 0, what happens to my y? y becomes 1, right? If I put y equal to 0, x becomes 2. So the two points that I have got are 0, 1 and 2, 0. Similarly, for this equation, I need to find out x and y. x equal to 0, y becomes 4, y equal to 0, x becomes 8. So the two points that I have are 0, 4 and 8, 0. I have to plot these points on my graph. So let me plot this 0, 1. 0, 1 is around something somewhere here and 2, 0 is somewhere here, approximate. So this is MCQ question that we are solving. So it is somewhere here. So this inequality, as you can see, less than. So if I put 0, 0, it satisfies. So my region is this. Now our second equation, 0, 4. 0, 4 is somewhere here and 8, 0 is somewhere here. Uh, if I join these two points, I get this kind of line. And again, I'll check this condition x plus 2y greater than or equal to 8. If I put 0, 0, I get 0 greater than 8. This is wrong. 0 is not greater than 8. So this is my feasible, uh, this is my region. As in this case, there is no common region that satisfies both the constraints. There is no region that satisfies both the constraints. Okay. So this has got no solution. This has got no feasible solution. Okay, okay. Uh, so coming to our next problem, uh, we have got the feasible region of an LPP is shown in the figure. Then the minimum value of Z occurs at. So here they have already given us the objective function. It is 3x plus 9y and uh, all the corner points are also given. We need to find out the minimum value. Okay, we can do that. Okay, very easily. We just need to find out quickly 0 comma 10 what do we get i get 90 right for 5 comma 5 we need to solve quickly in one minute no? 3 5 is a 15 plus 9 5 is a 45 60 uh, for z equal to 15 comma 15 so here you need to apply your brain take care this is definitely going to be more than 60 apply some logic this is going to be more than 60 so no need to evaluate because they are asking us minimum Okay, at 0, 20, what happens? It is 180. So this is no question. No doubt, this is not our answer. So the least value, so the minimum value, if you compare all this is this one. So that occurs at 5, 5, right? So correct answer is option A. Okay, moving on to our next question. So here, what does it say? The feasible region of an LPP is shown in the figure. If z equal to 11x plus 7y, then the maximum value of z occurs at. First, let me write, write down my objective function. Yeah. z equal to 11x plus 7y. So the feasible region already they have given, but the corner points are not there. We need to find out these corner points. So these two points lie on y-axis. So their coordinates will be in some some in this fashion, 0, comma y1. Let me call it 0, comma y1. And let me call me this point 0, comma y2 because they lie on y axis. Okay. So this 0, comma y1 is on this line x plus 3y equal to 9. So this point should satisfy this equation, right? x plus 3y equal to 9. I'll just substitute that value 0 plus 3y1 equal to 9. So my y1 is equal to 3. So this is 0, comma 3. Okay. Similarly, 0, comma y2 satisfies this line. Okay, I'll just substitute there. x plus y equal to 5. 0 plus y2 equal to 5. So this is 0 comma 5. So these two points I have got. So what is my this point? So to find that point, I need to solve these two equations, right? Okay, let me solve the equation. x plus 3y equal to 9 and x plus y equal to 5. If I subtract both these equations, I'll get my, uh, I'll just subtract. So xx gets cancelled, 2y equal to 4. So my y becomes 2. What? Uh, so what is the value of x? x is 3. So this is 3, 2. 
so uh, my points are what are my corner points let me just write them down 0 comma 3 0 comma 5 and 3 comma 2 so i have to find the value of our objective function at these points okay simple so at uh, 0 comma 3 let me find out what uh, the value of our objective function at 0 comma 3 at 0 comma 3 it is 21 at 0 comma 5 it is 45 at 3 comma 2 it is 33 plus 14 11 into 3 is 33 7 into 2 is 14 this is 40 30 40 47 okay so the maximum value occurs at 3 comma 2 if I compare these three points 21 45 47 so at 3 comma 2 the maximum value we get the maximum value okay moving to the next question what have we got so this is a very easy question okay so the corner points of the feasible region determined by the system of linear linear constraints are 0 comma 3 1 comma 1 and 3 comma 0 okay let z equal to px plus qy where p comma q is greater than 0 so what is the condition so they are asking us to find out what is the relation between p and q okay so uh, they are saying us that the minimum of z occurs at two points 3 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 let uh, so let me write that down z equal to px plus qy say the minimum value at 3 comma 0 let me substitute that what do i get 3p plus 0 let me call this value z1 at 1 comma 1 it becomes p plus q let me call that z2 because the minimum occurs at two points that means z1 must be equal to z2 they cannot be unequal okay they must be equal we have to use this condition okay so if i equate what do i get okay I get 2p equal to q and therefore p equal to q by 2. So my correct answer is option p. Okay, this is how you can solve this question. It was an easy question. You can easily solve this in a minute. Okay, so this is quite lengthy question that was asked. So you can avoid these kind of questions if they come in examination. This can easily take up to 3 to 4 minutes. To read only you have to spend around 1 to 2 minutes. To solve it again you have to spend. So for these kind of questions, I would suggest you to skip. If in the end time is left, only then attempt this question. Okay. So let us solve what is this question. The dietitian has to develop a special diet using two foods, X and Y. Each packet of food X contains 12 units of calcium, 4 units of iron, 6 units of cholesterol and 6 units of vitamin A. Each packet of the same quantity of food Y contains 3 units of calcium, 20 units of iron, 4 units of cholesterol and 3 units of vitamin A. The diet requires at least 240 units of calcium, at least 460 units of iron and 300 units of cholesterol. So let's decode, uh, let's extract the information from the uh, problem. So we have got X and Y. So in X, uh, X contains 12 units of calcium. Let me write that down, calcium. It contains 12 units and uh, uh, iron, four units and cholesterol six units similarly for y each packet of same quantity of food y contains three units of calcium and uh, 20 units of iron and four units of cholesterol let me just write that down okay these are our uh, quantities let us say we have got x packets of food x and y packets of food y so the constraints that we have got here is this thing. The diet requires at least 240 units of calcium. If I have X packets of X, then it will have 12X units of calcium and 3X units of 3Y units of calcium. If I add this, so this, if I mix this, these packets, I get so and so. And this should be at least 240, they are telling us. At least 240, meaning more than 240 similarly this is one equality we have got for iron it says at least 460 units of iron we have got x packets of x and y packets of y 
So say 4x plus 20y. So this should be at least 460. Okay. What is our third condition? And at most 300 units of cholesterol. So here, what do I get? 6x plus 4y, right? At most, maximum it can be 300. It cannot go more than 300. So I have to use this inequality. So it can be maximum 300. It should be less than 300. So the next step is we have to plot this point, these three inequalities on the graph and find out the corner points. This is the only way you can solve. There is no shortcut to solve this question. Okay. So I have already done that part. So if you plot, uh, you will get so and so. This region you will get. If you plot these inequalities, you get this region. So these are our corner points. Uh, we have to match which of the options has these corner points. As you can see, option A has these three corner points. So correct answer is option A. So I would suggest you to skip this question Okay, in your KCET exam. Only if you have got enough time, you can solve. So coming to the last question that we have got. The corner points of the feasible region of an LPP are so and so. Then the minimum value of Z occurs at. They are asking us the minimum value. So what is our objective function? It is 4x plus 6y. Right. I have to find for each of the values. So I'll just find out for 0, 0,2. What is the value? It is 12. Right. At 3,0. I have to just uh, substitute this value. Again, it is 12. At uh, 6,0. It is 24. At uh, 6,8. It is uh, 24 plus 48, which is a greater value. Greater value than 12. So let me ignore. I will not not calculate that. Why to calculate? Okay, 0 comma 5. It is 30. That is also greater than 12. So these are no of no use to me. So the minimum value you can see it occurs at two points. Because they were asking us to find the minimum value, I I did not perform this operation, the addition operation. This is going to be greater than 12. Okay, so I just ignore that. So we can see there are two points. Okay, now let us go to the options. What have we got? Finite number of points infinite number of points only one point only two points we can easily say there are two points so this cannot be the correct answer so option three is wrong what about option one two and four infinite number of points or is it only two points as we have got two points is this the correct answer let's find that out okay coming to our first question that we solved so here we have got two points okay uh, what are those two points zero comma two zero comma two is somewhere here and 3 comma 0, 3 comma 0 is somewhere here. Okay, if I join these two points, okay, all the points that lie on this line will also give me value of 12. Okay, so every point on this line is a solution. So I have what infinite number of points. So this is my correct answer. So Many students might get this wrong. They might uh, just uh, tick only two points. That is wrong. Okay. It is infinite number of points. It was a good question. Okay. Many students might make a mistake here. Okay. So that is all the, I have got. So those were the previous year questions. So I would suggest you to practice more. You can uh, practice questions from your textbook, the miscellaneous exercise and the problems from your exemplar book. That That is enough for, uh, for this chapter. And uh, I have... Uh, created a playlist where I am covering every chapter. Uh, I am solving the previous year questions from that chapter. You can uh, refer that playlist. Uh, and I hope uh, this video was helpful to you. And if you like this video, uh, if this was helpful, you can like this video and subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. Okay. Thank you.